guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about three of my favorite covers with very ominous, ominous? Yes, I think that's how you say the word. <laughs> ominous covers. Dun, dun, dun. The first book is The Man He Never Was by James L. Rupert. And this is a Jekyll and Hyde retelling, I believe, like loosely. And if that isn't threatening enough, add to the fact that you have a very mysterious cover, and here you have The Man He Never Was. Next is Isle of Swords by Wayne Thomas Batson, and this cover, guys. And then, and then, I was under the understanding that it was one standalone book. I found out that there are three books in this series, and my little heart got so happy because it's about pirates, and the fact that all of the covers kind of look like this well obviously not like this but just have like that look to them and I love it this is so cool with the birds and the dark and the mysterious threatening things that are probably going to come because it is a pirate book and I'm so excited to read it also the inside has maps and the pages are brown and look like they've been weathered they have weathered many a storm. And the last book that I'm going to talk about today is The Bone Man's Daughters by Ted Decker. The synopsis for this is literally like a Criminal Minds episode in a book and I am so excited. It just has a very mysterious, creepy cover with the vacant barn and like the vultures flying around which means something is normally dead and just like it looks like a tornado or a storm is threatening to come and just all of the aspects is what led me to spend 850 on this book also the synopsis because it sounds like it's going to be a great book so i don't have many creepy looking books that's not true i feel like i might have more than i think i do but these are three of my favorites and I would love to know what your favorite kind of sort of creepy looking book is. Let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to check out my blog, which is for the love of Christian fiction.blogspot.com. And my Instagram, which is for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!